video, I'm sharing the darkest and most personal details of my battle with the Department of Children and Family Services, DCFS, the court system, and the devastating conflicts of interest that have destroyed my rights as a father. It all started when I filed a motion to gain custody of my child. I followed every procedure, went to court, submitted the paperwork, and reported it all. But despite doing everything by the book, the court didn't respond. I was ignored. No communication, no follow-up. This is a blatant violation of my due process rights. Every parent has the right to be heard, especially when it comes to the welfare of the child. But then it got worse. The DCFS supervisor overseeing my case was the cousin of the child's mother. This is a clear conflict of interest, and it was swept under the rug. Then, DCFS assigned another individual to pay child support. Someone who never took a DNA test, never showed up in court. That person was represented by Maurice Taggart, a lawyer with deep ties to this corrupt situation. Here's where things take a tragic turn. Maurice Taggart was later murdered, and his wife, Chandra Taggart, publicly stated that Maurice had told her he was going to kill Judge Ernest Brown. Despite this, Chandra Taggart still has foster children in her care to this day. Another shocking conflict of interest for Judge Brown. How can this be allowed? How can this same system be trusted with our children's lives? Meanwhile, I had signed the presumptive father registry, which should have protected my parental rights. But Judge Brown ignored my active custody case in another court and put my child up for adoption. This wasn't just a mistake. It was a violation of my rights as a father. And the harassment didn't stop there. Rumors spread about me on social media, leading to defamatory posts, gang stalking, and relentless harassment. Despite reporting Judge Brown to the FBI and the Judicial Discipline and Disability Commission, JDDC, nothing has been done. I filed reports, sent emails, fighting for justice for over two years with no results. This is bigger than me. Fathers everywhere are facing a broken system designed to silence us. But here's what you need to know. Civil rights violations like these don't go unpunished. Settlements for cases like mine can range from $750,000 to over $2 million. And if criminal actions are found, fraud, perjury, obstruction of justice, those involved can face prison time of up to 10 to 20 years. This is about justice, not just for me, but for every parent who has been silenced, denied their rights, and ignored by a system that's supposed to protect them. Thank you for listening to my story.